Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about the WooCommerce plugin. So basically uh, with the help of WooCommerce you will be able to create an e-commerce website on WordPress. So uh, under WooCommerce there are a multiple or I should say a lot of extra plugins which help you to enhance the functionality of WooCommerce. right? So today we are going to discuss return and warranty request plugin. So with the help of this plugin you will be able to assign a extra option on the uh, WooCommerce product page where you can showcase the user that this product has certain amount of warranty or you can charge them for extra amount uh, for extended warranty. Let me show you how like uh, this is the official page for WooCommerce uh, particular plugin. Uh, you can always come to this page and read the whole documentation section. So. I will explain you how you can install this particular plugin on your WordPress website and how to activate and initialize that particular functionality on a single product. Okay, sit back and let's start. So first of all, you need to buy this plugin. I'm assuming that you have already bought this plugin. I have already downloaded and bought this plugin and that is on my computer right now. The second step is let's move forward to our WordPress website. We will install that particular plugin on our WordPress website. So as you guys all know that I personally use this particular domain youtube.simheronclub.com for my all YouTube video tutorials, right? And right now you can see that, right now you can see that I have created very simple, beautiful looking e-commerce website right in front of you. And if you guys want me to give you a whole tutorial, how you can make a fully functional e-commerce website with super easy step and all free resources, do let me know in the comment section and also like this video that will give me a little bit of motivation right so let's get started first of all you need to log into your dashboard if you don't know how to log into your dashboard it's pretty simple just come to your domain name click here like for for example my domain name is youtube.srmehranclub.com and click a slash you can either go to login or just type wp admin then you will be redirected to your dashboard but if you're logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your hosting make sure that you have securely saved those credentials somewhere on your computer okay so once you're logged in this is called the dashboard or the back end of a website with the help of this uh, interface you will be able to uh, change a lot of settings like you can come to appearance you can change the theme customize it you can add widget menu you can create new post article blogs okay you can add medias medias like images galleries uh, or what should i say videos pdf anything like that you can create pages you can monitor the comments which people are giving on your article right you can install certain kind of plugin like today we are going to install that warranty plugin and like what uh, plugins are basically some kind of functionality which will enhance uh, which will give you an enhancement or like uh, extended functionality on your website like uh, let me give you an example if you want a slider on your website you need to have a slider plugin like smart slider or slider evolution or any kind of plugin that is related to sliding functionality right so under the user section you will be able to create multiple user and you can assign them different role as well like if you want more than one admin on a single site you can do that no issues in that so under the tool section you get import export tool and site health and everything like export personal data under the settings section, you will get general setting uh, like reading, writing setting, permalink. Basically, permalink is like one of the important settings. You get it to set up the structure of your URL. You can do that. Okay. So coming back to this, I have to install that particular plugin on our website. It's super simple. Go to the left hand side, click add new and click on upload. So basically, as you can see here, by default, WordPress provide you a hell lot of free plugins. But the thing is, there are a lot of difference between free and premium plugin. I generally suggest you to always get a premium plugin because it has a lot of functionality and it makes the job done in a very quick way. So if you want a SEO plugin, you will definitely go for SEO yours because it's one of the popular plugin out there. But the thing is, the key feature has been logged inside the premium plugin. Like if you want to use, if you are using Yoast SEO, you know, that in article when you're doing a seo of a page or a article you're only able to add one key phrase at a time for that particular page or article but the thing is if you want to add more than one key phrase that functionality is logged inside that the premium plugin you need to buy that 
So I generally prefer you if you have small amount of money to invest in the very initial stage of your business, always install that. Uh, always go for a premium plugin or a premium theme. That's about it. Okay, cool. Let's upload that particular plugin. Select the file and that is extended warranty. Click here install and activate this uh, plugin. Cool. Now under the product section, click here all products. Let, let us, uh, let's edit a single product. I will tell you how you can edit. Click here to edit. I'll edit in next step. And here you will see a extra option called warranty. As you can see, click here and right now warranty is set to default, but we don't want it default. Click here. There are two options. Let me explain you warranty included. Do you want the warranty for lifetime? No, we want it for limited amount of time. You want it for 665 days, 365 days, or, or do you want it for only six months? And if you go here, click update. And now you see the product page, click here the URL, here will be included that this war this product has a warranty of six months. But what if you want them to pay extra for the warranty? Like, let us uh, charge them for the warranty, warranty as an add on. Okay, so how much do you want them to cost? Add a row, uh, I want them to cost 30 bucks extra for the warranty of six months. Okay. And if I go here, update, and if I come here to the product page and refresh this project product, then you will see there is the extended warranty. And if I add this to the card, then the extended warranty plus the product uh, price that will be added to the card 50 plus 30. As you can see, the total amount is uh, 30. The price of the product was 20 and the extended warranty 30. So total amount will be 50. So as you can see, but you can add different kind of, what should I say, different uh, warranty cost. Like if you want uh, for, uh, what should I say, nine months, then you can add it for $90, nine months. So that people can select warranty according to their budget, right? And just go on the product page. Then you will see there are two options, nine month warranty and nine days. <laughs> Actually, I need to change that. You can always come here nine months and update it come here and just refresh it so whenever people want to pick their warranty like nine months they can always check it and go to the card page and buy that particular item so i hope you really get the point of what i was trying to explain in this particular video with the help of warranty plugin which has been officially provided by woocommerce that is a great thing right woocommerce is a big brand so that's it for this video. I want to wrap this up. That was a quick video. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, just give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.